my first guest is a gymnast with six Olympic medals, including three goals, and one of the strongest voices currently calling for justice in the wake of the USA gymnastics molestation scandal. Last week, Allie Raisman testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and her mission now is to turn her past pain into purpose. We have called for a fully independent, factual investigation for years now because I and these women who sit before you know firsthand these organizations and their public statements are not to be trusted. They claim they want accountability, but then seek to restrict which staff can be interviewed, which documents can be examined, and claim attorney-client privilege over and over again. Please welcome Allie Raisman. Hi, how are you? getting a standing ovation oh, right now from this audience. Um, how are you doing? I know that um, I read something on Instagram where you said you're still recovering from testifying and the experience. How are you feeling today? Thank you for asking. I, I wish I could be there with you all in person. Um, I'm feeling okay. You know, to be honest, I always get nervous to do interviews. It's, it's a difficult subject to talk about because I know it impacts so many people all over the world and it's also deeply personal to me. Um, so whenever I speak, I, I do get nervous because I care and I want to make sure that whatever I say doesn't trigger a survivor or, um, you know, in fact, help somebody out there. And that, you know what, that is so beautiful because I thought you would say, well, I was nervous and I was thinking about me and, and you're thinking about others and how all of this impacts them, hearing this conversation of sexual abuse and surviving it, and this being a trigger as much as it also is a demand for justice. Yeah, you know, I recognize that most survivors out there don't have the platform that I have, or most survivors aren't supported in a way that myself and my teammates are, and for that, I, I am so... Um, grateful, and I don't take that lightly. You know, I think um, I've thought so much about the way a survivor heals is linked to how their abuse is handled. And, mm. um, you know, our case has been so public, and I think that people who have followed it can probably tell that there are organizations and people who have handled our abuse horribly and have covered mm. it up. But I will say that it's been interesting because usually when I speak out, and of course when I testified, it, it takes so much from me, but it, I was, was surprised in a positive way that I felt, of course, I was really tired and I was triggered and there's been ups and downs since last week, but the support I've felt from people all over the world has, has really helped me in my healing. And I yeah. want people to know that. Like when you support a survivor, we feel that and it helps us. And just even one person validating yeah. a survivor and saying, I believe you and I support you. And I have had so much of that over the last week that it truly has impacted me so much and, mm. and it's helped me get out of bed. Like, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have that. So thank you. Well, you have it and it won't stop. As I said at the beginning of the show, Allie, this show is about not letting the past define you. And you are choosing to talk about the past in an effort to make changes. And, and part of what you are calling out is the leadership of USA Gymnastics and even the FBI, because you are saying, despite all of the headlines, despite the fact that Larry Nassar is now in federal prison, there are still answers and there are people who should be held accountable. And that's why you're still willing to talk about the past as triggering as it is for you. Yeah, you know, this is so much bigger than one abuser, one pedophile being um, put away. You know, unfortunately, um, a lot of people were involved in enabling Nasser and um, unfortunately involved in, in covering this up. And, and the issue is, I don't have the answers. Like, I can't tell you who else is still working at USA Gymnastics or the FBI or United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee because we haven't had a full independent investigation of all three organizations and looking at the interplay among all three of them. Like, we don't have the answers. And so, um, accountability matters and it's important. It's important for us all to believe in a safer future. I think every child should be able to go into sports or school and to 
be able to trust that they're going to be safe. Um, and if, you know, something yeah. does happen, unfortunately, that people will do the right thing and they won't go to great lengths to cover it up. And so until we have a factual, full, independent investigation, we can't be confident that it won't happen again. And, and I don't want to live in a world like that. It, it's frustrating um, for myself, and I can't speak for all the survivors, but I know for a lot of them that, you know, we are not asking for a lot. We're asking for children to be safe. So to have hmm. so much um, pushback from these organizations is just, um, it's unacceptable. Hmm. Allie, what does that title mean to you, Darkness to Light? Yeah, it's a very, um, it means a lot to me. I, I've i been partnered with the organization Darkness to Light um, for a couple of years and um, actually for many years, I feel like the past couple of years have gone by so fast. And um, Darkness to Light is the leader in child sexual abuse prevention. And um, they have a course that Darkness to Light and I provide for free. And we believe it's the adult's responsibility to protect children. And if we want to believe in a safer future, we believe that adults have to be educated so that we can help educate the children and we're able to know the signs and the red flags. Um, and so part of that is why I really like the title. And then the other part is, you know, when you go through something so hard, it sometimes can be hard to see that things are going to be okay. And there were times in my journey where I worried, am I ever going to feel better? Am I always going to feel like this? Am I always going to be stuck in this hard place? And I think it's so important as a survivor, no matter what you're going through, to find moments of joy and light. Mm -hmm. And um, there is light in the world. And sometimes when you're going through a hard time, it, it is hard to see that because you're going through so much.